welcome to the Mary Boozers RC channel, everybody. I hope y'all are having a wonderful week. Uh, we just got back from a day of boating. It was a lot of fun. Um, as you can see here beside me, we have the official flyer ready for the Mary Boozer RC fly-in coming up very soon. Very, very soon indeed in November uh, 21st and 22nd. You are allowed to come a day early if you would like to. The camping is allowed one day early for the event. We did get that checked out. Um, there will probably be more sponsorship down there as the time goes on, but for now we do have a few people that have confirmed. The RC Informer and uh, our buddy uh, Motion RC, FTE, and... Uh, brain fart right now. RC Air Marshal, there we go, are all going to be at the event. So really looking forward to it, guys. Um, I will be getting this link to where you guys will be able to get this off of Facebook and print it out and everything else very soon. But I wanted to just go on and mention that the flyer is officially here. Don't forget, you'll need to bring a toy and $10, and that's how you're going to get entered for the event. The $10 is going to go to Imperial RC for hosting the wonderful event, and the toys are all going to kids. So that's how it's going and uh, we might get some kind of donation thing going for the event also to uh, buy toys with so anyway just wanted to start with that to get that out of the way um, we do have also channel memberships are going to be available hopefully next weekend we're just finishing all the final stuff up right now we want to make sure it's really awesome um, we're going to have some special members only content kind of thing um, that'll be a lot of fun, so we're super excited to be rolling that out here in about another week. Just be watching for it, um, and we'll probably put a video out to go with it. Um, and tonight, I have the Hobby King Goblin. This is the first Hobby King airplane, to my knowledge, that we've ever done on the Mary Boozers channel. Nothing against Hobby King. It's just we haven't done a lot of their stuff before, and for 99 bucks, I couldn't resist myself. I had to pick it up, so I went out and bought one, and uh, I have no complaints so far. Shipping was super easy on it. Uh, it came in in about a week. No damage, nothing. I mean, it came in a huge box for this little bitty airplane. It was funny, uh, but other than that, it was um, nothing bad so far, so I think this should be a real easy thing tonight. I might try and assemble it for us. Y'all know how that goes when I try and assemble stuff live though. It's, it's never good. It's never good. But we always have fun at least one way or the other. Um, I also want to say, shout out, his picture was just right here. Dave Kowiski with his uh, Just Dot It shirt. Looks fantastic. He sent me that right after he got it. I think it's hilarious. Yeah, there it is. Right there. But uh, And that's him in front of his actual airplane. So that's really pretty cool. Um, we also have masks on the store now and a few new shirts if y'all want to check it out. Link is always down in the description. Y'all can check that out if you'd like to. So, without further ado, you know what you come here for. Y'all come here for the airplane. So, let me start cracking into this box. Lori's going to bring us over to the full top shot in just a second. Now, they don't like me if we don't have a full top shot, Lori. She's going to fix it, though. So... We got the Goblin from Abbey King. Ta-da! Very simple, easy. Nothing crazy on the box. Remember, guys, this is a $99 airplane. You can't go wrong at that price point getting a plug-and uh, plug fly airplane. I did go with the pink. The pink was jumping out to me. It was definitely a different kind of paint job than I'm used to. And I thought it was awesome. So I went for the pink one. So let's start cracking into this thing. Ta-da! Like I said, I'm kind of excited. This is my first Hobby King airplane I've ever bought. Not Like I said, not that I don't like Hobby King, it's just I've never had one. Wow, those colors are wild on this thing. I mean, they are wild colors, but I like it. It's different. Finish is fantastic. That is a sticker, not paint. Looks like we're going to be gluing this on. This, mo this model does not have a rudder. 
This is a Yankum and Bankum kind of plane. Jeff's Custom RC's down there. I know he's got one of these. Well, this is going to be easy. There's only three parts in this unboxing, so this should go pretty quick. I think we're probably putting this together tonight. Hmm? Bluey. Bluey. Oh, gluing. Yeah, guys, man, this thing looks great for the price. You know, I have a soft spot in my heart for Tossum and Bossum planes. I love these little cheap airplanes. There's something about a plane that you don't have a lot invested in that you can have a lot of fun with and not have to worry about tearing it up as much. I like that they mounted the servos on the top of the wings so that when you're belly landing you're not going to have to worry about knocking that off. Once again this is a sticker which is good it's going to protect the wing. Real pretty finish though I mean nothing. Pretty finish. Some guys don't like the color, some do. Like I said, I really like the pink. I know it's going to stand out and I'm going to be able to see this thing. And there's that servo once again, sticking through the bottom. I may paint the servo just to make it not as obvious. But remember guys, $99 plane here. Sweet. Uh, somebody was correct when they said there should be four parts. It's right there. I didn't see it. Now, this does come with the prop already on it and mounted. I'm going to go in and take this off before we fire this up the first time. Safety first kind of thing. Man, it's a cool looking plane. It's kind of like a fat Mustang. It, well, it's kind of a Mustang and a Spitfire and a Reno plane all jammed into one. But yeah, I'm going to go on and drop this off before we fire this up tonight. I mean, it's a wild looking plane. And this is going to be a, a real close competitor to like uh, the guys that have got the Motion RC Havoc. Um, the P-51 that's the same size. These are the same size airplane as those. There's your ESC mounted underneath. Battery strap goes around it. As you can see right there. Uh, I don't see any wing screws. I wonder if this is going to all glue together. Interesting. Like I said, first time hobby kinging, so... I don't have any instructions either by the look of it. I guess you gotta figure it out. Odd question, but does it feel big or small in person? It feels tiny, funny enough. Let me show you here, here, hang on a second. For you guys that have maybe like, let me grab an airplane. Let me compare it to another airplane. So, Lori, let's go, I don't know, top shot, front shot. Let's see. Let me finish getting this out of the box first. And then we'll uh, do some comparison. But, I mean, it's pretty small, the, the main body of it. Oh, look, you get a belly pan, too. That's going to be a skid. Maybe there are instructions in here. Or the instructions are online. There's the uh, tail. So yeah, it looks like this is going to all screw together. The little piece of foam right here I'm going to go on and clean out. Or is that a screw hole? I don't know yet. We'll figure it out as we go here. I was hoping there was an instruction manual for this thing. I do know that that is not supposed to be there, so I'm going to go and clean that little hole out. There you go. Um, no hinges. You're going on a foam hinge. It does have ball links. 
once again, the thing I can't stress enough ooh, 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 is uh, the price point of this airplane, guys. For 99 bucks, I couldn't resist myself from getting this one. And that's it. It's out of the box. So let's move this out of the way. And let's says, does anybody remember Wesley promising to get Papa a large P-47 for a Christmas present? I don't know what you're talking about, but maybe. We might be able to. Head. Your head <laughs> My head is sunburned. Maybe. Looks like a little belly pan. Hobby King. Uh, control throws and CG, but no manual. So yes, there is no manual in the kit, guys. It's all online, so it's on yet. Okay, okay, it's all online. I get it. So you get some stickers, a three. So I guess if you wanted to make a pair. I don't know what that one is. A six, a seven, a eight, two. Man, there's all kinds of numbers in here. They give you all kinds of numbers. So you can have a racing crew with this thing. All right, Lori, well, let's go back to the front. I don't see any screws, so I believe this is going to be a glue together model, guys. So for the guys that were asking for a size comparison, so here's the Motion RC Tossum and Bossum P51. And of course I haven't glowed the tail on yet, but for a size comparison, there you go. It's a little bit shorter. I mean, here's the rudder. Just kind of fit it on there. So I mean, it's, it's not a very big airplane. We don't need no stinking manuals. Exactly. I bet I can figure this out. I'm a pretty smart cookie. So let's see here. It looks like there are no screws. So we're going to be gluing that and that. So let's dry fit it all. And if it's not supposed to be glued, it ain't going to hurt nothing to glue it. But I do have to figure it out. All right. Stand time. But there's you a size comparison maybe for... You guys that are curious. There it goes. Ah. Any other questions right now? Ball links need to come off and be replaced with clevises, somebody just said. Well, we could do that. I've got the clevises right here. Maybe that's why they provided them. Is there was a Wow, that's very short. <laughs> it doesn't fit on the stand. So much for that. It's all glue. All glue. Lori just looked it up. Did they say to replace the clevises? I didn't look it up. They're just entering the comments. I could download the instruction manual. I got some glue. I've been down this road before. I bet I can figure this out. So we're going to dry fit everything first, as I recommend for anybody else. Always dry fit your parts. Make sure everything's going to be kosher before. There you go. Oh. Wow. Nobody saw that, right? <laughs> it, guys, if you ever want a challenge, film yourself putting together something and try and do it in a timely fan manner and pretty. And you'll laugh at yourself the whole time. This is why I don't normally put things together live. So before you glue the wings to the fuselage, please check the operation of the ESC. Alright. Hey, Otherwise, there we go. You have to cut the wings off to get back to the ESC. I tell you what, so the wing even glues on, but for the time being, just for you guys to see it all together, I'm going to glue it together off camera. Let's do that. That probably sounds super. But, for the time being, I can fit everything together for you guys to see it all together. Hey, hey. What is this, Captain Blush? 
what the heck. says don't fly too far away with that bird. Right? I could see it getting away. Someone said we should do a goblin race in our flying. Goblin race? That could be fun. Tell you what. It is not easy to get everything to go in there correctly. Like watching a monkey do something with a football, right? There we go. I got it. So, there it is, guys. I mean, I got to glue it, of course. But I'd rather not do it where I can't hold it in a correct positions and stuff when I actually glue everything. But there it is. It's all dry fit together. Um, these little Tossum and Bossum planes are just a ball. Um, there it is. Yes? What type of battery does it use? What type of battery does it use? I believe this is a 3S or 4S bird. I should have looked at that before we started, I guess. Let's see here. I got the feature boxes right here. So, Wingspan is 820 millimeters for anybody wanting to know. Uh, the servos are 9 grams. This is a 3536 KV 1400. So it's a 3536 1400 KV. And recommended battery is a 1000 to an 1800 milliamp 4S 40C or higher battery. More than likely, you're going to be able to fly it on 3S. We will try it. But I got 4S 2200s, and I'm going to shoehorn them in there because all of my other little racer planes use that, and I don't have any that small. We'll see. Jeff says he uses 1300 milliamp 4S. Yeah. So, I mean, to each his own. It's like the uh, DuraFly. I have the EFX racer. I didn't buy it new. I bought it used at a swap meet. And that plane really wasn't made for the size of batteries I put in it, but it'll fly on it. And I actually have a friend that flies his on 6S, and the thing is nuts. But, uh, yeah, I really like the little plane, guys. It's cool. Something a little different. The paint job is wild on this thing, but it's tiny. It's so funny. You know, somebody mentioned that a minute ago, how it felt. But, yeah, it, it it's a tiny little airplane. Um, so... You guys that have done like the 64 millimeter jets, hang on, I got one right here. It's about the same size as like the 64 millimeter, I mean, it's almost identical size. 64 millimeter MIG for size comparison. There you go. Toss it and boss it, baby. About the same size. Who had a good idea? I'm trying to keep away with everybody. Oh, uh, Papa was asking everybody if they would like to see more balsa on our team. Oh, of course they would. And Ryan said, Ryan O says to make it... So let's go top shot again. I mean, I've got it all together. I'm going to hold the wing on, guys. Of course, I haven't glued it on, but give you the overall look of this plane. So here you go. The foam finish is absolutely fantastic on the little airplane. It's funny how big the nose is. For as small as this airplane is, it's the size of my fist up here on the front end. I mean, the front is huge. I mean, I don't know if you can tell it, but I mean, the front end of this airplane is really big. <laughs> Guys that have like a, the 1200 millimeter Spitfire, uh, it's about the same size nose as that big airplane, which is just funny to me. It's just got very odd proportions. It's neat though, and like uh, Jeff was saying a minute ago, it's got a really beautiful finish. And see, this little part right here is going to go here, and that's going to be your belly pan skid. And it actually has, see if I can hold this up, it has a cooling hole right here. So this goes right onto the ESC, and this one goes right to the motor. So that's your cooling area. And when you put this little piece on, it'll actually cover but leave an opening for that hole. So that glues on afterwards. And then you've got exit holes back here for the air to come out. 
How big is the battery axis? So battery axis, I'm going to drop the wing off now, guys. You've seen it kind of together. Can't do that after you put it together, though. So the battery bay looks like you're not going to have any problem getting a 2200 in there if you wanted to shoehorn and make something bigger. Uh, and I'm guessing on 4S this thing is going to go full throttle straight up in the air. But we're going to find out, you know. I don't want to guess too much. I want to find out. But yeah, there it is. Two wires going back to your elevators. XT60 connector, which is a nice change. I usually have to use adapters on all my E-Flight stuff because I used to fly nothing but XT60s. So it's nice to have one that I don't have to use an adapter in. Uh, it's a very simple airplane. You've got throttle, you've got elevator, and you've got the ailerons, and that's all there is for this airplane. It's really cool, guys. Like I said, there's only so much I can say about a little plane. We've got to just get her out and fly her, but yeah. You can see the assembly to it is going to be nothing. I just pieced this together just to make sure everything fit, and now I need to glue it. I'm going to give it a good look down the center line to make sure that the elevator is straight before I glue it on and that the rudder is straight. Something I highly recommend before you glue it on there. It's a lot easier to straighten one of these on a table before you glue it, but you want to make sure that your everything is straight. So when you put your wing on too, you know, and you look down your airplane, and this is with any model, as you put that together, you know, you want to look down it and see everything lining up. It's the same distance from, and this is hard to do when trying to hold all this, it's the same distance from here to here as it is from here to here. Um, and that's called your, uh, what is it, incidence, I believe. But yeah, if you look down it and the plane was sitting like that, that would be a bad thing. So you want to make sure when you glue that together you get all that straight. Now, funny enough, it will fly just fine with it crooked. Um, you ought to see my EFX extra. Actually, let me grab it. Let me show you this. You're going to laugh. I've flown this airplane like this forever. Uh, where is it? Here it is. There. You're going to laugh, guys. So, you want to see one that doesn't look right. Uh, uh -huh. Can you see that? Top shot for a second. See an issue with that? This is what I'm talking about. When you glue all this together, you want it to be straight or else it looks really goofy. Now this plane has been like this since I got it. Whoever put it together before me, that was off. But it needed to be down like that. Now the, And it's been like this since the day I bought it. And it doesn't affect the way the airplane flies. It still flies fantastic. Um, it is, this has been a, a loved, a loved airplane that has been to heck and back. I've repainted it to try and make it not look so bad. <laughs> but uh, I've loved my EFX turn. You know, there's not very many airplanes you can hold by the wingtip. Lori, front shot for a second. There's not a lot of airplanes you can hold by the wingtip and then not break or get hurt. But the EFX Extra was such a stiff wing. They put carbon rods all up in here down the entire thing that, I mean, you can hold it right at the tip and this thing won't hurt. These are amazing, amazing airplanes. Hobby King still has these on sale and they're in stock right now. FYI, uh, if you don't like the look of the Goblin, this has always been one of the prettiest airplanes to me. It comes in like three colors and they're in stock. And I love the EFX racers. Love this plane. It actually has a spinner, but I broke mine and I couldn't find it at the time and I just put a regular old prop nut on it. And uh, wow, these are fast. <laughs> wow, these are fast on 4S. And I've flown this on 3S a whole bunch too and it flies just fine on 3S. But uh, yeah, like I said, if you want to see one that's got a crooked elevator, there it is. But the plane still flies just fine with it like that. But I bought this at a swap meet for 20 bucks. And it was worth every penny. I have flown it and flown it and flown it. So I'm hoping this one's going to be a good along the same line. I don't know if this one's going to be as fast as that airplane. Um, there's something about the way that EFX. It, you know, I've flown the V900 and I haven't put them on radar yet. That is something that we want to do. But I almost think this is faster than the V900. But 
there's only one way to find out. I need to order a radar gun, and we need to radar all these planes so we can actually find out. So I look forward to it. There's going to be a versus in the future between these racing airplanes. Um, that's something I've always wanted to do. But yeah, don't fall over, or if you do, just don't break in half. That airplane, though, has had a very hard life, but it's, it's handled it, and it's so stiff with all that carbon reinforcement in it that it's an amazing, amazing airplane. So, and you know what? The, the Goblin has an also extremely stiff wing. I, I haven't glued it together, so I'm kind of being careful, but I can already tell there are spars all through this wing. I can't see them like I could see it in the uh, EFX, but this wing, there's a spar that goes through here, and I think there's another one embedded right here. I can't see it to confirm it on the EFX, you can see them all, but this wing is extremely stiff. You're not going to have any flexing from this. I think that spar ends right there. So, I mean, it's amazing these racing planes, how strong they make them. And they actually, if you look in the wing, this is where, well, top shot for a second. So this is a channel they've made for, to allow cooling around the ESC, because the ESC actually sets right here, and there's a hole right here on the airframe that lets the air flow over it. So they actually made a channel to let that air flow down. Pretty cool how they did this airplane. I mean, I'm really impressed with it. Like I said, for 99 bucks, it's a, it's a great airplane. So, guys, I hope you really like it. I know it wasn't the craziest show tonight on airplanes. There's only so much I can do. I guess I could glue it together, but... <laughs> Lori's like, no. She's seen me do it too many times where I go to glue them together, and it's eh. GB clocked his at 128. Was that this? The Goblin? That is smoking fast for this little bitty airplane. <laughs> Anyway, there, there comes planes that come out that I'm just like, I've got to have it. And this was one of them. I saw it, and I was like, that's going to be so much fun for 99 bucks. So, what a bargain. Look at all you guys. We got used car salesmen down in the bottom in the links right now. They're chatting. <laughs> anyway, well, guys, I, like I said, I know it wasn't nothing crazy tonight. I wanted to get this out. I wanted to get it unboxed so we can get it built and flying. Um, I'm really, really impressed with the finish of this airplane. For the price, you're not going to go wrong. If you've been looking at one of these, um, you know, who knows how long stock's going to last. I, I believe they still have both colors of these right now, but if you've been looking at getting one, I would highly recommend it. Looking at the airplane, it doesn't look bad. Um, we'll be getting a flight report on it very shortly. I don't have to go anywhere fancy for this one. One of the reasons I love Toss and Boss planes, I can drive right down the street and fly these here in town. And uh, so we should be able to get this one flown and on the channel really quickly. Uh, we need to do the, whatchamacallit, the crop duster still. We've got to get out there and fly that. Got a plane coming this week. All right, Gavin, nice. Um, I am going to be, if anybody is in the Florida area, next Saturday I will be at the Imperial RC Club down in Lakeland. Just to give you this heads up, Gavin, uh, if any of you guys want to come meet up and fly with me, their club meeting is next week on uh Saturday, so I will be out there for the day, and that's the same club that we're having the Mary Boozer fly-in at. So, anyway, I'm sure you could come and be my guest if there's only one or two of you. Now, I can't have a hundred of you show up or nothing, but <laughs> if you're in the area, uh, I know Hangar 51's from right around here, too. So, I will be out there next weekend, though, and Imperial is always a wonderful place. And Imperial does have a fly-in coming up on the National Model Aviation Day. It's Saturday, not next weekend, but the weekend after, I believe. You can look it up. It's the day of the National Model Aviation Day. And uh, they're having a fly-in there that we are going to be at. So that'd be another good one to come meet us at. It's Imperial Club again if you want to check it out before the Mary Boozer fly-in. Um, they're going to have a spot landing competition 
uh, a competition where you have to fly two minutes and then land, and the closest person to two minutes without using a timer will be the winner of that one. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. August 15th. There we go. August 15th, Jerry McGee, Imperial RC Club. Same place we're having the Mary Boozer flying. If you guys are in the area, come fly with us. I'm sure Jerry always puts top-notch events on down at Imperial RC, and we'd love to see you guys there. Um, well, guys, like I said, it was a nice short show tonight. We just wanted you to see the Goblin. Uh, what battery is suggested for an E-Flight Viper? I think it's a 3700 to a 4000, if I remember right. Any bigger, and you have to start carving it. Hopefully, I got you there, TNRC pilot. I can't remember because mine's hanging on the wall right up here. You can't see it, but it's cut in half. It hit a tree. Lori's trying to show it. I don't know. If, I don't know if you can actually see it or not. Uh, yeah, you can. It's right there. There's my Viper. <laughs> <laughs> it was great flying an airplane right until it hit a tree. We were, we, it was getting flown in a place it probably shouldn't have got flown in. A very tight area. Let's say that. And it made one hell of a sound when it hit that tree. So yes, August 15th, Gavin, is a Saturday. And yes, that'll be at the same place as Florida E-Jets. Same place as the Mary Boozer fly-in. Imperial RC Club. Check them out, guys. Uh, it's on our flyer if you go back to the beginning. Or Lori could pop it up right now. Maybe. Let's see. We're going to pop it up on the screen for a second. Boom. So, there you go. I can't physically go over it, but down in the bottom there, there is all their information for the club. Uh, they have their uh, website. Um, and like I said, Imperial RC Club. There's their charter number and everything for you if you're curious. And like I said, August 15th, they're having another fly-in that we do plan on being at. So, ta-da. And if you can't make it to that one, you can make it to this one. I'm such a dork. I know. Well, guys, like I said, I wasn't going to be nothing crazy tonight. I wanted to show this. I wanted you guys to see the Goblin. I think it's going to be an awesome plane. I can't wait to get it flying. Uh, channel memberships are coming. Who knows? Maybe I'll get on live on our membership ones and fumble with my glue jobs and not have to worry as bad because I know you guys love me that are in there. Um, but, yeah, without further ado, please get out fly with your friends if you can. Um, I don't know what that was. The dog is killing his uh, hoof right now in the back. Um, Papa is back, so be looking forward to him being back on the shows um, and getting out to the field and flying with us. Um, the fly-in next week that I'm going to, we won't be getting any film from because Lori is working. Maybe I'll try and be on the camera, but you guys don't understand. I am not the camera person. Lori is definitely the camera person. But I'll give it a shot. But yeah, I really, I really love it every week that you come by and spend your time with the Merry Boozers. I try not to waste your time. I try and keep it on what we have. We do have some surface vehicles coming soon. Um, we'll probably have that here on the channel on the live shows in the coming weeks. Um, and as always, fly with your friends. Come hang out. We're going to let you guys go. Five. Four, three, two, one. See you guys next week. Bye.